Whoever we are and wherever we live, our world is built around relationships. Many of these developed over time spent with others in different social and business situations. But how does a cross-cultural worker begin to get to know people or find opportunities to spend time with them? This has really been a 20-year journey that started when I was a university student and came to Christ. I realized that I had skills and gifts and abilities where, where I could go to places that traditional missionaries probably couldn't go. So over the last 20 years, I've worked in Asia in small companies, uh, just a couple of people, all the way up to larger companies of over 2,000. But in each of those, trying to live out my faith in an authentic way gave me opportunities to, to meet lots of people, maybe over 100 people a day, to interact with them where they could see me and I could see them in, in a variety of situations, some happy, some not so happy, but also led to opportunities to share my faith and what I believed. It's been great to see some of them come to know the Lord and then go on to impact their families and their communities. I think anyone in business has skills and abilities that could be used in Asia and to really impact the community around them for Christ. For OMF, this principle of building genuine relationships through genuine businesses is called missional business. This approach lends itself to regions where sharing your faith is not straightforward. Yet even in countries open to the gospel, it is still proving incredibly effective. Silla Farms is a company limited in Thailand, not too far from the Burmese border. What we do is we grow coffee together with the Karen people. We buy their coffee cherries. The cherries is the fruit that comes from a coffee tree that produces the, the coffee beans as you know them. We then process these cherries till you get green beans and we get the green beans roasted till you get roasted coffee and we sell our coffee as roasted coffee in different places. With our business, because we go in as a business, we have opportunities in villages where normally people are very reluctant to receive missionaries. We try to demonstrate godly values and ethics in our business, for example, by buying the whole harvest from a village. We are not opportunistic that we only buy the coffee cherries from them when the price is low. And we give them a fair price and we pay immediately when we receive the cherries from them. To help the coffee farmers, we've given them training how to make their own compost, how to make their own organic pesticides and how to identify pests. On our processing, we hire both Christian and non-Christian current people. And by doing this, we create an environment that is very natural to, for people to talk about the deep things of their life and have great opportunities to share the gospel there. We try to support our Christian farmers and our Christian employees by giving them Bible study materials, by having Bible studies with them, praying with them, about issues that they face in their lives. One example how our business demonstrated Christian values to our employees was when our maintenance man got sick. He became sick for a long time and we didn't lay him off. And as a result of that, he grew in his faith and he chose to be baptized last year. Even though Sela Farms is a business run to make a profit, Christ is at the very center, meaning Reen and his wife Micah put people and relationships first. Over time, this approach speaks volumes to employees and the wider community, opening doors that would otherwise remain tightly closed to the gospel. A few years ago, we decided to have another brand besides coffee because the coffee price may drop. So, we thought about peanuts. We bought some seedlings in another village and then we planted in our field and hired a whole group of people to harvest them. And then I needed a, to hire a person for making peanut butter. So I looked around and my choice was a lady who broke her back two years ago in an accident and recovered quite well. But she can't do heavy labor and she's not a believer. So she needed to be taught how to roast the peanuts, how to blend the peanuts, how to put the peanut butter into the bottles. During the whole process, lots of things can go wrong. And sure enough, that happened. 
you know, and then we taught her again. Something else went wrong, we taught her again. Something else went wrong. Well, in normal business, you would look for another person to do the job. That's the easiest. But that's not how we work, you know. We look for opportunities to show Christ's love to the current people. So that's why she's still with us. And after those two years, now she's doing her job perfectly. And we are happy with her. Missional business is a God-given opportunity to get alongside East Asians and demonstrate our faith. Please take a moment to pray and ask how you could be involved. Maybe you too could start a business in East Asia or join an established one. You might be able to use your skills remotely or support the work in some other way.